Well, who's this? Six weeks since I broke my hip and I'm out in the car again on a lovely, bright, sunny Monday morning. Beats working, I can tell you, in Foy, overlooking Paul Ruin, where you've been many a time with me. But I thought, uh, see, yesterday was Sunday and that was officially six weeks after my hip replacement. And then you can legally drive the car. And although I have snuck out in the other ones, the automatic and that. But here we are. And uh, this morning I had to uh, put the battery in, which luckily I'd taken out before my accident. And I charged that up to 100%, which took quite a while. Um, it stayed on 80 for ages. But then I went out and had a Sunday lunch. My daughter and son-in-law took me out and uh, came back and it was 100% charged. So I managed to put it in this morning. That's my hat, shadow, you can see my silhouette and it started first turn but a lot of oil smoke came out because it had been laid up for seven eight weeks and uh, i think it had drained down the valve guides but anyway i've taken it out for a short i was going to go all the way to to loo but i think that would be silly so i brought it out here to pole to foy because that's a decent length in case anything goes wrong and uh, i've had a look here and the um engine seems fine I mean it was running fine you know before I had my accident but you always worry a bit uh, but I've checked it there was some oil that had leaked out of the top somewhere but it seems to have to have gone and um, everything else is fine and it drove up here and it's a very steep hill I mean if you live in Texas and it's all flat you never really know if you've got that good compression and all the rest of it but here going up that hill there aren't any steeper unless you go to Switzerland um, so it's it's running fine, or touch wood it has. And so one of the new subscribers, and it's probably just as well if you do subscribe really, um, of course then you get all the other videos that I've done, uh, was asking about the electronic ignition. So a quick recap on that. You can see the mustard coloured plate there that goes through from the um, inside of the car. And you can see that that's adapted. It's got, um, it's got bolts sort of... Uh, glued on and the bolts come from the inside now so you can slide it down from this side and then pass the bolts through which gives you a bit more room but also if you have a close look you can see where I've had a ball pane hammer and bashed it out so that there's plenty of space for the distributor because oh there goes my bus I guess my bus he likes the car as well and um, so I've made plenty of space there I just put that on the grass actually and hammered that out and painted it so when the engine rocks backwards you know towards the driver um, it doesn't knock the distributor cap off because I think it did that once and uh, the car stopped but you can see it's a it's a it's a one of those distributors that um, a company in Texas sells Italian anyway they have the uh, little electronic module bolted to it but that's not a good idea because I think it overheats and so I first I took that electronic module off and I put it here, look, where those wires are going, and I thought, I can do better than that. And these little electronic modules, they're only about 20 pounds, and it's the same connection. So the wires come from it, the two wires, it's got, got them, I don't know, a hall effect or something in there. But it comes up out the side to here, and you can see the thick aluminium plate I made uh, as a heat sink, and you might even be able to see the heat sink paste coming out, but that's a much better position, and um, people say, oh, points are better because they're easier to change, but they're not easy to change there. You've got to take that out, and then you drop the screw for replacing the points down in the distributor, and then you have to take the distributor out, put it back, and retime it, whereas if one of these goes, I've got a spare with me, of course, that's much easier to replace than points, and touch wood, it's been going all right. I mean, it's kept cool, uh, and... Um, a lot of you have got, you know, all that metal work around the top of your car. Get rid of that. Just put a K&N filter. Get rid of that um, that fan system. That doesn't really do any good. Uh, I've showed you it goes through that hole there and up, and it's uh, supposed to do it. But main thing is to have an electric fuel pump. Pump cold fuel for, through it, and then it will start. The mechanical fuel pump is still on the car, but an electric fuel pump is the um, is the way to to sort that out. So that's the engine bay. There's a tube there I need to replace. I'll get on to get a nice silicon one for that and uh, replace that. That's, that's the only original tube in it. But anyway, the, um, the car drove well up here. And uh, here's a view from the back with the 
engine bay opener, my piece of wood holding up much better than the spring, which they use in Ferraris and all sorts of things, the same spring, but a uh, piece of wood's better. And any of you in Australia, you can see my golden fleece sticker that I made myself. And uh, if any of you wants one, let me know. So here we are at uh, Foy looking over at Pol Ruan. The other day there was a gig race out here last a couple of weeks ago. 11 gigs coming down from Gallant, which isn't that. That goes up to uh, Laren. But further down they were bombing down here. 11 gigs in a race. All out they came. And there were a couple of boys out there. No ships on the horizon today. Little boat out there. Anyway, I brought my bag with my cigars, my Qantas bag, and my drink of water and an orange. And here I am. 12 weeks, sorry, 6 weeks, 6 weeks, here with the car. Sorry, do you think, can you park here? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah of course okay. you can. Yeah, and this then, time of the year. And the town is just down up Yeah, yeah, there. yeah, this time of the year you can park for free. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a walk back up the hill though, I'll tell you. Yeah, oh really? But yeah. it's alright um, walking down? Walking down oh yes, down. yes. How yeah. far is it, reckon? Do you reckon? Well, it's a fair walk from here. Is it? Yeah. It's easier to go to the town car park. Then. Well, there's the car park just at the end of this road up to the left, and in season there's a bus that takes you back down and up. And oh, I don't okay. know if it's running oh, now, right. but even there it's. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, alright, yeah. anyway. yeah. okay. So there we go, that's a uh, local advice. So let's, let's have a look at, let, look at me. I'll turn around so the sun's shining in my lovely face. Yeah, here I am with my new hip. Okay, so we won't get in the way of your photo. Mm. No, it's a, my my channel, my X19 channel, and uh, I've just had a hip replacement six weeks ago, and it's the first time out with it. Oh, I used to have one. Did you? Yeah. Oh, my tell us all about it then. My little boy's Yeah, hang on, let's get this. Tell us all about it then. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's pink actually. Yeah? yeah. What, the Caricot or the car? The car. A yeah. pink X19? Yeah. Viewers, a pink X19? Yeah. 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 I mean, and 40 it's, years ago. And it's obviously new. 42 years ago. Yeah, it's obviously new hip friendly, isn't it? Because, uh, oh, I've yeah. been struggling this morning, well, I can tell you. I can... out, there's the tricky bit. Oh, gee great... willikins. But I was yeah. actually told by a policeman right. yeah. that the they, they, petrol tank is quite. Near the back. Yeah. Oh, it's it's in a good location because it's just behind the passenger seat and it doesn't get smashed in an accident. Whereas in a Porsche, in a Porsche, which is an expensive car and people desire them, it's in your lap. So when you have an accident, the yeah. petrol tank is smashed into your lap, which breaks and catches oh, well, fire, and that's the end of you. <laughs> No, Porsches are overrated cars. They're very popular and are very attractive looking. Yeah. Anyway, so what was your experience of the X19? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, I mean, obviously in those days it was quite unusual. Yeah. Days. You didn't really see many of them. Yeah. yeah. Are you here on holiday? No, we've got a house here. Have you? <laughs> well, I've got a house in St. Hostel, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's it is a lovely, lovely place day. to come, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, thanks for being on the channel. I'm going to sit down now and have an Italian cigar. Fantastic, and enjoy your day. Oh, sure. You don't see yeah. them anymore, do you? You don't see yeah. many about. Yeah. I was told no, that in no, Cardiff. No. You don't see many of them around, boss. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks very much, then. Thank you. And bye thank bye you, bye. viewers. Bye. That's a bonus today, isn't it? Have a good walk. <laughs> That's a bonus. All right, then. Well, all the best to you all. Try and hold this steady. That was a bit jerky. But, yes, if you'd like to su subscribe, it might help people see the rest of the videos. All right, all the best. Bye-bye.